So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 video, people. And today we're going to check out everything we need to know. You need to know about the season of the Malignant, which is season one for Diablo 4, which starts the 20th of July. Basically 13 days away, people. Let's go. How's it going, guys? My name's DPJ. And if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe so it starts guys july 20th i cannot wait this is going to be pretty cool now if you haven't seen anything on this uh in regards to what's coming i'll have you covered right here today guys if you got any questions that need answering hopefully within this video we answer them okay so this is actually the first time i'm looking at this as well i'm recording this basically not long after these details have been dropped but I'm dropping it the next day because YouTube's going to be absolutely crammed full of everybody covering this. But I also know as well, guys, as European folks and UK folks, that this will be new information too. So let's go. Delve into the corruption battle and new boss. Wield new power. Earn rewards. 13 days, 16 hours. It's going to be a lot lower than that by the time you see the video. But hey, guys, let's go. A diaphra emerges. A new form of religious corruption is spread throughout sanctuary, creating malignant monsters that roam the land, overtaken with this infectious turmoil. Minds are lost and killing at random. Only you can fight back and harness the power of this twisted corruption to uncover the source of the malignance and put it to an end. Now, if you haven't seen the trailer, guys, Let's check it out. Oh shit, it's asking for my date of birth. Let's just lie here and say I'm just, I don't know, 50 odd. Does it really matter? Actually, 70 or 70, what? Two, three? Continue. There we go, guys. There we go. Now we'll make this big. I'll cut this into the video so you can hear it. Let's go, people. I am writing to you because although a great evil is receding from sanctuary. I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited. I'm seeing a lot of people complaining about basically having to start a new create character. <laughs> it makes me laugh. That makes me laugh. I mean, I love that idea. I really do. I love that idea. Everyone's starting afresh. What we like to see, people. This is looking cool, though. I'm guessing he is the quest giver. This kind of animation is incredible. The it really is. Man's got fan of snapped. Help. That chick's got fan of snapped. I need Get out of here. Here we go. Diablo 4 season of the Malignant. Starts 20th of July 2023. Okay, so let's go and check out some of this information we have down here. Season features. Discover what lies ahead in the first Diablo 4 season. Okay, so Strand against the Malignant. New questline. Sanctuary has been corrupted, overtaken with an infectious turmoil, creating abominations that roam freely. But who is to blame for this new wave of corruption? Partner with Cormund a former priest of the Cathedral of Light to discover the source and stop the spread of the malignant at all costs. New power, wield malignant hearts. Okay, so defeat these powerful corrupted enemies to harness their malignant hearts with over 30 new malignant powers to wield. The might of the malignants is yours for the taking. Now that sounds cool, people. Look how cool that picture looks. Badass people, badass people. Okay, so new boss battle. Fight the corruption. Score the malignant tunnel, uh, tunnel sorry, to search for the catalyst of corruption. Make your stand against Varshan the consumed and uncover the secrets of the malignant. Badass people, pursue new options, new gear. With six new unique items to discover and seven new legendary aspects to earn along the season journey. There are more powerful options to harness for every class. But uh, oh yes, this is what I like. This is what we like to see, motherfuckers. Yes, it is. Okay, so season journey and free battle pass. Earn free rewards. Unlock uh, rewards by progressing through chapters of the season journey and tiers of free season pass available across all seasonal realm characters 
Okay, so season journey, complete chapters of this season journal uh, to earn rewards, including new legendary aspects, a mastery title, and a scroll of amnesia, which provides a free skill tree and paragon board reset. Wow! Plus, earn favor toward the battle pass along the way. Favor, I'm guessing, is the XP, which I'm, we'll come to, I'm guessing, no doubt. Season blessings. Use the smoldering ashes you earn in the battle pass to upgrade all your seasonal characters with increased XP gains, better chances for rare materials, and when salvaging items and more. Seasonal titles show off. The only thing more frightening than the malignance is you with the Eridish monster title. Cool. Cloven and weapon transmogs. Collect a weapon transmog for each of the Diablo 5 classes. Or Diablo's 5 classes, sorry, not Diablo 5. <laughs> An artisan's clothing that's designed to be mixed and matched with other armor sets to create a unique look for your character. Pretty cool, but I'm not sure about what he's wearing up there in that picture, guys. No, I'm not. Premium Battle Pass. Get more with Premium. Earn your way through 90 tiers and unlock premium rewards with awoken armor sets, mounts, and mount armor, platinum, and much more. So you can actually earn platinum. That's pretty cool. Now that looks badass. That lot armor looks badass. The cold run armor set. This armor was forged for the sole purpose of resisting the malignant spreading across the lands. Cool. Okay, so the warded Mustang mount. Now that's badass. Expand your stable. Expand your stable, sorry, with two versions of the new warded Mustang mount. Now that looks cool as heck. Okay, so we got also have the cold run bottom mount armor. Wow! Adorn your new steeds with mount armor. We're inspired by the malignants taking over Sanctuary. That looks badass! That looks badass, man. Weapon skin, mount trophies, emotes, platinums, and more. Okay, so the scythe, Necromancer, looks pretty good. That's what I'm using. Nice shield there. Don't use a shield though. Um, But yeah, pretty cool. 660 platinum, is that what we can earn? What can you buy with that though from the store? <laughs> Probably not much. Okay, so explore a range of cosmetics to earn along the premium battle pass. Collect a weapon transmog for all 19 weapon types. Two emotes for each class to let you threaten your enemy or find a little time to play around with malignant heart cages. Two headstones even let you die in style. Adorn your horse with five new mount trophies. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, on the warpath, emo accelerate battle pass. Okay, so show everyone you're ready for battle when you slam your banner down, signaling to enemies that you're ready for a fight. This emo is only included in the accelerated battle pass. So does it give you XP, does it? I don't know. I don't know, what does it do? What does it do? It does nothing. It's gonna slam my banner down and show, show the enemies that I'm ready to fight. And I'm gonna buy the accelerated battle pass for that. Oh, I'm not sure about that, people. I'm not sure about that, people. Okay, so compare battle passes. Uh, free battle pass, premium, and accelerated. Obviously, best value. That's what they want you to. Uh, that's what they want you to buy, no doubt. But what we got there? Oh, I don't know, people. I uh, hope it says the price of these as well. So, twenty smoldering ashes in all three. 63 tiers on the premium track, including armor transmogs, weapon skins, emotes, and more. They are on the premium and the accelerated. So uh, is the Cordial Armor set for each class and base plus awoken conversions. The Warded Mustang Mount, that is two. The Cordial Boarding uh, Mount Armor, that is two. Get 20 tier skips. Doesn't really bother me. I like to play and earn my shit. On the warp up. Best value, my ass. Premium it is, people. I'm going premium. I love the game. I'll pay. I'll pay for a battle pass. Take my money. Okay, so what do we have here? Frequently asked questions. Okay, so how do I access the seasonal content? Uh, do I need a battle pass to play? Once the season starts, log on to the game, create a new seasonal character, and enjoy. If you have not completed the campaign yet, you will need to complete it on one character to gain access to seasonal content. The free battle pass is automatically available to all seasonal characters. 
get the premium or accelerate battle pass to earn additional rewards. Okay, so what happens to my character progression after the season ends? Okay, so it's interesting. The character and progress on that character is transferred to the Eternal Realm. You can play this character whenever you want in the Eternal Realm. Specific season only features will no longer be accessible in the Eternal Realm. For example, at the end of season 1, Malignant Hearts will disappear and be unslotted from jewelry at the end of the season. Infested sockets will become normal sockets. Learn more here. So let's click that. Let's click that. Malignance runs rampant in the first season of Diablo 4. Okay, so there's quite a bit of info here, which I think we need to go through. Do we? Yes, I think we do. Okay, so let's actually go through the other uh, questions first. Okay, so how can I progress through the battle pass? What is a favor? Your progress through the anew, anew, anew favor is that shit. Your progress through the battle pass by earning favor. You earn favor by just playing the game, ex, uh, killing monsters, completing campaigns and side quests, or completing objectives in your season journey. You can also progress through the battle pass by buying tier skips. Each costs 200 platinum. No thanks. What are smoldering ashes? It's actually what I'm interested in. Smoldering ashes is a currency used in the battle pass to earn specific bonuses known as season blessings for the current season. Players earn Smoldering Ashes by progressing the Battle Pass. By collecting Smoldering Ashes, you can apply bonuses to your seasonal characters. These bonuses last for the season and only apply to seasonal characters. Okay. What are tier skips? Oh my life. No one asked that. Nobody asked that. Did anyone ask that? Tier skips are currently uh, that are applied immediately to obtain one full tier in the Battle Pass. Nobody asked that. Don't lie. I pre-purchased the Digital Deluxe or Ultimate Edition, which came with a Battle Pass. How do I redeem it for Season 1? If you pre-purchased a Battle Pass, the Battle Pass button in the Season section will be replaced by an option to activate either your Premium or Accelerated Battle Pass. Okay, cool. So back to that link, which was this question right here. The character and progress on that character is transferred to the Eternal Realm. You can play this character whenever you want in the Eternal Realm. Specific season only features will no longer be accessible in the Eternal Realm. For example, at the end of season 1, malignant hearts will disappear and be unslotted from jewelry at the end of the season. Infested sockets will become normal sockets. Learn more. Let's go. Okay, so. Well met, Wonder. Corruption has befallen Sanctuary in the season of Malignant. The first season of Diablo 4. Yes, we know what this. We know we get new aspects. That's what we're good. Okay, so. That's the Codex. Season of the Malignant theme. That's pretty cool. I like the look of that. A deviant form of Lilith Sinister Machinations. Is that what that says? Machinations? I don't know. It sounds like that. Has given birth to a new threat. Malignant monsters, these decaying abominations roam sanctuary in a frenzy, mindlessly attacking anyone in range without hesitation. Wanderers will investigate the mysterious Malay in the new questline with the help of Komord, a former priest of the Cathedral of Light who also trains you to capture the malignant hearts, fueling these foul beasts and convert them into uh, build altering powers. The malignancy that's taken hold uh, of the Burning Hell's armies cannot remain unchecked. You must sniff it out at the source before all of Sanctuary becomes its thrall. Okay, so we've seen that. Transmute malignance into vengeance. That's pretty... Wow, that is badass looking, people. Okay, so to keep up with the relentless animosity of malignant monsters, you need to turn their hearts against them. Slaying partly corrupted enemies, a type of malignant monster, will drop a malignant heart. These can be captured by performing a ritual of the Cage of Binding, an item acquired during the season of well during the season's questline. Partly corrupted enemies are an unruly sort and won't go down easily. Trying to capture the heart will cause a partly corrupted enemy to be reborn as a fully corrupted enemy. If defeated, these Amorganations 
of rot will drop a version of the malignant heart that can be placed into special infested sockets in your jewelry in place of a normal gem sounds cool the first season will introduce 32 malignant hearts across four categories that provide new unique bonuses as you encounter more menacing malignant creatures so too will the strength of their malignant hearts grow there's much more to share on the season's theme and we cannot wait to do so in the future okay cool one of the best places to acquire malignant hearts are in the new malignant tunnels highly replayable dungeons teeming with fearsome foes to eradicate scroll this dank system of tunnels for the catalyst of malignant monsters and go toe to toe against Varsha and the consumed the newest boss battle if you dare okay so how seasonal character works okay so we're seeing on screen now okay so yes we can see all this we get all this we get all that people okay so with season of malignant beginning the 20th of july we wanted to take a moment to equip you with everything you need to know about seasons to participate in seasons a new character must be made on the seasonal realm you do not need to purchase a battle pass or add any add-ons to play this seasonal content but you must have completed the campaign on either the eternal or seasonal realm with at least one character once you have completed the campaign any seasonal character will start the game with the option to skip the campaign your man available immediately or previously discovered or to live unlocked and the corresponding renown for them all previously discovered areas on the map revealed and a corresponding renown for them okay once the season has ended the character you made and its progression will be transferred to the eternal realm all items you collected into including your seasonal stash will be transferred to you can take this character into sanctuary whenever you please but season specific features such as malignant hearts will no longer be accessible that makes sense our beliefs behind seasons Seasons provide us with an opportunity to introduce innovative uh, gameplay mechanics in Sanctuary for a limited time. Because seasons reset, we can create crazy fun season themes in a vacuum without needing to worry about balancing yeah, it with the mechanics introduced in the past or future seasons. We can start, or we start from a strong eternal round baseline and build on top of it. Seasons are also a place for players to explore and tinker. We encourage you to try a new class or different builds for a class you've gone well grown fond of our seasons are a chance to get creative while demolishing demons additional seasons present an equal playing field our seasons are designed for new characters to conquer the nightmarish challenges brought by a season's theme and to progress through the seasonal journey together okay so earn rewards with the season journey and battle pass okay so cool so what we are seeing here okay so yes yes i would actually need to pause the video and take a, a quick look at this but i kind of get what we're seeing here i don't want to waste much more of your time this video has been going on long enough no two much ways about that okay so that's cool as you hunt down malignant monsters for their build enhancing hearts and partner with common to discover the source of the corruption you'll earn rewards from the season journey and battle pass the season journey is broken into chapters and tasks to complete. As you progress through the journey, your own rewards be fitting Sanctuary's Defender, such as new legendary aspects, a mastery title, a scroll of amnesia, which provides a free skill tree and paragon board reset. So that's pretty cool. Don't cost you that bomb, it's gonna, well, not too much the, the skill tree, but the paragon board reset, I mean, I'd do it. Man, unslotting. F uh, hopefully, this is one button to just reset the whole thing. You ain't gotta go through every single node, man. It's long. The journey also provides favor, the resource used to climb through the battle pass tiers, which is also earned naturally by playing the game, whether it be killing demons, completing quests, and more. So, here's a snippet of the actual battle pass. Pretty cool. Looking good. Looking like quite simple, to be honest. Basic. Okay, so the season of Malignant Battle Pass begins July 20th, we know this, and host 90 tiers, we know this. 23 free tiers and four, uh, 63 premium tiers. Okay, so we know all this too, we've read all about all that. We know about all that, we know about everything, stop trying to make us purchase the, the, the crazy editions, but you ain't doing it, we ain't doing it, people. No, we're not, and I think, no, it's not. Okay, so Aquaria Hellish New Looks from the shop, okay, so yes, that looks pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, we're dying up the heat for the shop with new equipment, armor, accessories. Yes, I bet you are. But yeah, that does look cool. 
and there we have it guys that is it that is it and we've gone through the patch notes already i did that in a video which would have been posted earlier today but yes guys there we have it the season of the malignant is be honest people not long whatsoever and i cannot wait but there we have it guys everything you need to know about this new season for diablo 4 Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave an like, it really helps out. If you like what you see, want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully my beautiful people, I will see you on that next one.